Hey, what's up guys, Tony Dumps here, and today I'm doing a very exciting and different video on face unlocking technology. Now in front of me, I've got the iPhone X, I have got the Samsung Galaxy S8, I have got the Honor View uh, 10, and I've got the OnePlus 5T. All four phones have some sort of unlocking technology which uses your facial recognition, be it iris for the S8, or facial recognition, or face ID of some sort, and what I wanted to do is test to see how all of these uh, devices perform in several different conditions. Bright light conditions like this, low light conditions, and that's why my keyboard was turned off and my monitors turned off. And then with glasses as well. So I think it's a pretty unique video and without further ado, let's get into it. Now start off my test with the Honor View 10. I know you're getting a nice little close up because this is the best angle I could find. Now, the Honor View 10 um, was actually a recent uh, feature um, on the Honor View 10 that came out, and the face unlocking technology is absolutely sensational. What Honor have done over here with the face unlock technology from top to bottom is one of the best out of the four phones. Now, what I did is, when I did my tests, I did it in bright light. Now, in bright light, I got absolutely fast recognition, no problems whatsoever. Then I turned down the lights. Now I'm not going to turn down the lights for this video because you won't be able to see anything, I promise you. But um, what I did is I tested it in th uh, three different scenarios. 100% brightness, 50% brightness, and 0% brightness. You know, might be wondering, why on earth would you change the brightness level? Well, the reason why is because when you change the brightness level, the phone has a different um, intensity when the, when the light up display comes up. Now at 50%, um, display level, I had it uh, unlocking at a medium level. So in other words, every now and then it would uh, unlock. Uh, sometimes it would just take a little longer to unlock, but it would always unlock at 50%. At 0%, however, it would never unlock. No matter what I did, no matter what angle I did, it wouldn't unlock. Um, so I must say, in terms of the unlocking technology, it's great, but you'll need a bit of light. Now the recognition, as you were able to see as I'm doing it, I'm not using the fingerprint sensor, I'm actually using just my face to unlock it. It's extremely fast. The setup process was extremely intuitive and very, very easy. Um, and finally, my uh, another test I did is putting it on a desk. So um, as they all use some sort of like gyroscope in order to uh, activate when they're being lifted up, some of them work, some of them every now and then work, but the Honor View 10 actually picks up that motion very well. Then I tested on a desk, so on a desk I would press the power button and position my face over it in order to unlock. And the View 10 performs uh, fantastically well, very very fast unlock. Overall, View 10, um, I've given it an A plus for face unlocking technology. Its only downside is really 0% brightness in very low light conditions. Next up we have the OnePlus 5T. Now the 5T was one of my first phones that I actually tried with face unlocking technology and it got me really surprised at how fast the technology works. However, when I compared it to the other phones, I did realize a few flaws that the 5T has. Now first of all, the raise to wake uh, feature doesn't actually exist on the 5T. In other words, it goes on with this light on display um, and then you'll have to click the power button in order to, it, uh, to uh, turn on its display and then for it to unlock. Now the unlocking speed of the 5T was by far the fastest out of the four. It's just that little bit faster than the View 10 and faster than the S8 and um, uh, iPhone X. I must say very impressed of how fast it um, responds. Now in low light conditions, what OnePlus have done has integrated a little feature which is very very simple but essentially it has a assistive lighting. All that means is that when it detects low light conditions, um, the, the screen has like a white screen, almost like you have a forward face facing flash like when you're taking the selfie, it comes up with a white and then it takes a picture. That should give some extra bright um, light to your face. So with assistive lighting, um, at 50% brightness uh, on the screen, is, uh, it unlocked fast. Without it even uh, enabled, it also unlocked fast. Now at 0% brightness of the screen that is, with assistive lighting it was fast, which is fantastic, it beats the, the View 10. However, with it turned off, just like the View 10, it wouldn't unlock. So it wouldn't unlock on that on the feature. Now when it came to... Um, the recognition of my face, it's the fastest, as I said, uh, in comparison to all the other four, uh, other three devices, four being the 5T um, in this kind of group test. Um, when it came to the setup process, just like the View 10, extremely fast, extremely easy to do. 
Um, then, um, in terms of the overall experience, I gave it an A. So not an A plus like the View 10, but an A. Now the reason I gave it an A, just a little lower mark than the uh, View 10, is simply because of this raise to wake feature. It would just annoy me that I have to press that extra button. It might sound so silly and so petty, but you'd be surprised. If you're picking up your phone, you want it to unlock, just like the View 10 did over here. 5T? Why? <laughs> so I need to press the, um, the button to unlock it. So that was my experience with the, the 5T. Overall, a very, very good phone, very close in between the View 10 and the 5T. They have their pros and cons. So now the iPhone X, the one that got everyone talking for all different reasons, and they got rid of uh, the actual physical um, Touch ID button in, in favor for face uh, unlock only. Now the face ID recognition system is fantastic. In terms of low light performance, it's definitely the best phone for unlocking your face. Unlocking your face, unlocking your phone with your face. Now, just quickly jumping to that, I must say, unlocking the phone at 0% brightness was absolutely fast. Even though I had it really, really dim, everything was very dark, it would still unlock very fast with my face. Now, in uh, in normal conditions, it also unlocked very fast, just like the uh, View 10 and uh, 5T. However, there was one major flaw for me, just like the 5T, but more so with the, the X, was the fact that there is no... When you unlock it, you've got an unlock button over there, then you need to do this. That is so silly. So in other words, I need to press three buttons. If, I'm, if I have it over here, I have to press three buttons. One, to turn on the display two to unlock my face, and three to actually go into my device. Again, it might sound petty, but you can't, I can't quite stress, if you're, if you're working and you just want to quickly unlock your phone, you won't be able to do it without doing those three different buttons. Now the raise to wake feature was actually sensational. The iPhone X is definitely by far the best out of the, the bunch. The raise to wake feature just works flawlessly. Every single time I picked up the phone, it would light up its display every single time, no matter what I did. Whereas the other phones sometimes were hit and miss, nevertheless, they were good, but not as good as the iPhone X. Now, in terms of the setup process, it was a medium experience. That's because the way it scans your face, you have to do different uh, ways of moving your face around for it to scan all the parts of your face. Um, and then in terms of um, using it on the desk as well, so when I had it on the desk and I raised, uh, put my... <laughs> face above it, it would unlock as well uh, really fast. So overall, um, it's decent. However, that function, the fact that I need to raise, uh, raise that screen, or the fact that it just takes that extra little second to unlock, as you can see, like, one, two. Again, one, two. Just about two seconds. 5T, for example, I press the button, I can't even, one, one, it's it's just so much quicker. Now I can't give you exact timings, but I can guarantee you the View 10 and the 5T unlock much faster than the X. So in terms of speed, the iPhone X is slower. In terms of recognition of your face, especially low light conditions, the iPhone X is the winner. And now, the Galaxy S8. I don't know where to start with this, but when I first got this and put face unlock, I was just looking at my phone going, why are you unlocking? The facial recognition system of the Galaxy S8 was pretty poor. Even till this day, even after all the firmware updates, and yes, all of these phones are running on the latest Android or iOS, um, it still wouldn't unlock. So right now, I'm using it on uh, Iris Scanner because that's the, the best uh, feature of the phone. I would highly suggest using it with um, the uh, Iris Scanning technology, and even then, it's just struggling to unlock. It still hasn't unlocked, saying to hold further away. It's just, yeah, it, it, it was really hit and miss, even with my my iris there showing, I'm in the circles, no, it's just not working. Now, so the Galaxy S8's overall experience was pretty poor. In terms of unlocking your phone, uh, unlocking your phone with just your facial recognition, or even with the misplaced fingerprint sensor, I found the S8 very frustrating. Now, its iris scanner was definitely an improvement over the face unlocking technology that uh, Samsung used within the Galaxy S8. However, even then, with the Iris technology, I still prefer the other three phones that I've mentioned uh, in, this, uh, in this group test. So running through it, first of all, the raise to wake feature. It doesn't exist. 
There is this sort of waving feature which never seems to work. There's this always on display which is great but then doesn't want to unlock. So therefore I have to press the power button in order to, uh, in order to enable uh, the unlocking to, to work. So that's the race to wake feature. Next up was the unlocking in, in lights, that was fast, um, as long as you got it to work. Then you got uh, unlocking in low lights at 50% brightness, fast again if you get it to work. Then at 0%, again if you get it to work, medium. Now this in comparison to the other Android devices, so therefore not the iPhone X, actually performed better that's without the um, the OnePlus 5T having that assistive lighting technology. So without the assistive uh, lighting uh, option enabled, which I don't know why you would not have it enabled, then the Galaxy S8 actually unlocks versus the 5T that can't unlock without that feature enabled and the View 10 doesn't unlock at all at 0%. Then in terms of registration of my face, so how it would recognize my face, medium to bad, it depends. Then what I found is wearing my glasses. Now throughout this group test I haven't mentioned using my glasses and the reason why is because I've never experienced any problems with them. The iPhone X, the View 10 and the 5T all unlocked with my glasses on. No matter what frame I chose, so a small frame like this to a bigger sort of Clark Kent type um, face, I know, Superman and all that. Um, it would have, they would, none of them would have any problems. The um, Galaxy S8 without facial recognition and using iris scanner, and I know the setup tells you take off your glasses if you got them, meant that I would have to take off my glasses in order for the Galaxy S8 to register uh, unlocking, uh, uh, register my irises. Which seems pretty obvious given the fact there's an extra lens or like a glass in front of your eyes preventing it scanning your irises properly. I get it. However, it's something I should note because if you're wearing glasses and using iris technology, you're going to have to get off your glasses each time you try to unlock your phone. 0%, pretty much a 0% success rate with glasses on. Without glasses on, then hit and miss, as I said. So overall, my experience, I gave it a C. So lower than the iPhone X, lower than the other two Android devices. If you want facial recognition on Android, I wouldn't really suggest the Galaxy S8. Obviously, there's all different reasons of why you choose one phone over the other, but facial recognition is definitely not it. So that, now let's move on to the conclusion. Now, before I go into that, I just want to mention security. It's something I didn't touch upon throughout the video, but I definitely want to mention it over here. Now, all these phones I tested with having a massive <laughs> a picture of my face on my 27-inch 1440p uh, monitor. I also tried it on a printout of myself. Um, I also tried it on uh, baby pictures that my mum had of me. And I tried them all different ways, but unless it was my physical face, it didn't unlock. So therefore, in terms of security, type, um, security point of view, you don't have to worry, all these phones are safe as long as someone doesn't have your actual physical face. So anyway, all I'm trying to say over here is in terms of security point of view, um, all these phones do pass my own tests. Now, I don't know in terms of industry, in terms of deep level of, of, of research and science behind it, I can just tell you from a consumer point of view and just my own opinion. Now, in terms of which device I preferred, in all honesty, it was the 5T. Now the 5T, in my opinion, unlocks the fastest, has the best experience, and even though I need to press that extra power button in order for it to unlock in terms of the raise to wake feature, which can be actually uh, in implemented in terms of a software upgrade, I just felt that that was the overall best experience that I had. However, you might recall that I ranked the View 10 higher than the 5T, and that's simply because of that raise to wake feature. Now, the View 10 would win, um, in all honesty, and it's very, very close between the 5T and the View 10. However, it doesn't have that low light performance, so in other words, if I'm in, in a low light condition, then it won't unlock. That said, yet again, that could be implemented in a software update, so who knows? Come a couple of months time, suddenly Honor have released a new firmware which implements that feature. If, it, if I had to choose right now, it would be the 5T. In the future, who knows? These the View 10 and the 5T go head to head as being the best phones for facial recognition. Now of course you might think that, hey, but the iPhone X, that actually works, it's great in terms of low light performance. It is, but the 5T has the same sort of feature by just lighting up a display. Of course, by default it doesn't have that display to turn on, but all it requires you is just to turn on a little uh, switch in the, in the settings. 
which in all honesty isn't revolutionary, it's just a simple thing that has been used for ages. Snapchat uses it each time you want to take a, a selfie in low light. It comes on, it turns on the, the, the screen, goes white, and then takes a picture of you. So the fact that the iPhone X can unlock in low light is fantastic without the need of or any of that. But is that something that's really going to make me go and buy the iPhone X over the other ones if I'm really interested in facial recognition? Unfortunately not. Given the fact that that simple process which seems um, so tedious to do every single time and the fact that I unlock my phone many many times a day just is a laborious process which I think Apple really haven't thought that bit through. They can of course again change in a software update but knowing Apple, I doubt they'll actually change that feature of unlocking the phone, the fact that you have to swipe up from the bottom uh, to the top. Finally, the Galaxy S8 by far, as you probably gathered, was the worst out of the, the four. Now, the phone is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but for facial recognition software, in my opinion, I don't think it's quite up there with these. It's just nowhere near uh, can it compete with the, the other three phones. Anyway. That's my conclusion. You guys jump to whichever you want and you make your own uh, thoughts and opinions of it. Make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think of the video uh, and obviously of the uh, devices. Uh, definitely like this video as it always helps the channel and favorite and share uh, to share it with your family and friends. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Don't forget to subscribe and take care. Bye bye.